So, fuck Mario Galaxy 2, right? Yeah, I heard about that. Like, Mario Galaxy 2 got the short end of the stick. Uh, welcome to our final stream of Mario Odyssey. We're uh, taking on the hardest bits of the game, the post-game. Yes, and by we, mean you. And then, uh... And, uh, since the previous stream, the Mario 3D All-Stars has been announced. Yep, for a limited time only. All the digital is a limited time only. Well, y yeah, but... but, but it is very is... dumb. I don't know why they're doing that, and the same and... with Mario Battle Royale. Which the Mario cool Battle Royale a for game. the six months I can play it. Why only six months? That makes no. They're getting. I'm. Sense. They'll probably like do something after that time. But like, what if they they'll do choose nothing. to extend it or not? I don't. I don't but know. what? It, it's just like okay, it was over. But what? But. No, it is the newest in. in a line of incredibly bizarre and questionable business decisions. They always Nintendo finds new ways to be stupid. Sometimes Nintendo is the, I mean, it's not they're innovative the is, with their stupidity. It's 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 weird because it's not malicious stupidity. They're not like fucking over their employees or or anything. They're just they're just like okay, this will only be available for a limited time, and people are like, why? There, this hurts you. You didn't share it. Oh right, I'm sorry. I need to. I need to show Jack the screen. Yeah, I, I could just me. do an entire stream like this. I could. I could. I could watch just pro wrestling on mute. On. Been watching a lot of Zack Saber Junior matches on a uh, Billy Billy. That said, Save I mean money. the 3D All Stars thing is is neat to have the ports. I guess. I think. Yeah. People are overreacting negatively because. They were dumb enough to get to buy into the rumors of full, a full set of remasters, which has never happened with any no. video game ever made. No company, Nintendo or otherwise, has ever done multiple remasters of games that recent. Yeah, it was no way. totally like skyrocket hopes that people should never have been dumb enough to have. No, it's basically just like I mean, would you consider the original All Stars remasters? I guess uh, it did. they were, but that was, you know, that was, was sprite-based games from that long ago. That wasn't too bad. And they had also yeah, already... Yeah, from, like, actual 3D texturing. That's that's a lot more time-consuming. Like, Crash and Spyro were, A, from around 2000 was the games, and B, they all ran on very comparable engines, so it was easy to make collections of the three games. Something, like, a total remaster of Mario Sunshine and Galaxy alone, which are both, mu both multiple gigabyte games... Yeah, it's just not possible. Not not that quickly. Not not feasibly. So it's not financially possible. So I I got some uh, I got some new outfits. I cleaned out the game since the last time we played. Sweet. I got all the outfits we were missing. Got all the purple coins Football and uh, some additional optional suits. You unlock more suits in the in the coin store. As you, uh, get moons. Ah. Uh, so you unlock the Diddy Kong suit, the 8 bit. What the fuck? Um. I don't know how I feel about. No, it looks great. What are you talking about? Woohoo! Oh my god. That is. It's, it's just the same pose. I wish I could afford the skeleton. I had to pick between the skeleton and the eight and the eight bit cap. Wait, what and the I fuck got the eight bit the... cap because I'd never seen the eight bit cap. What the fuck is that? Hakama. We That's got a Hakama. Nice. Hakama. It's uh, like a, like a Japanese. Yeah, fuck it. Let's Ooh. get the. Uh, we can get the Hakama. We got Bowser's tuxedo. Oh, Bridal Bowser's veil. Oh, we can't afford both of those though. Shit. Gold uh, and the... metal. Musician. Sunshine outfit we can't afford. Yeah. Damn, all these cool fucking... Teleview. These are all really good outfits. I like the I like a game that has like a lot of outfits available for unlock. All the rabbits for some them. reason. Saint Road does does that well. Saint Road Saint Road has lots of wacky outfits. Yeah. It just occurred that's... to me that that's uh, that's a headwear, not like an item that he wields. I'm so yeah, used to like other a... video games and weapons that I just I scrolled past that without thinking. Yeah, you're just like, oh yeah, that's Mario's weapon. Wait a minute. Okay, well, he can... 
We can throw that axe, actually. Just take you know? it off his head. Yeah, and throw it. So. I'm gonna get the Hakama just because it looks cool. Yeah. We get the it Hakama is cool and the. We can't afford the. We can't afford the bridal stuff. Alas. Okay. I was wondering why the coins weren't showing, then I realized that this the... outfit feels like a shit post. Yeah, that's a t that's. Mm. I'll ch I'll change. It's like it's like if you were playing Sonic, but with the MS Paint Sonic. Sonic, yeah. Sonic. I can't believe they fucking put that in a Sonic game before I, lots of other things they could have put in a Sonic game. It's in well, Sonic Mania, the Sonic. Is it really? Yes, it's well, on I mean, like a t it's on a T-shirt for a cus for custom characters. I think. I, I will say that the difference is that. You should use the you should use the hair. The hair. I think wasn't there like uh the like Hakama a doesn't come out? with anything. Oh. There's a happy outfit was the Bowser's Kingdom one. Oh the headband. Yeah, use the happy headband. Oh that and won't then... show up in two D sections though. Yeah, that's true. Does do, Hakama do doesn't Waluigi have a top? Or Diddy? What? Do you do Waluigi or Diddy? Uh Diddy, because that'll show up in the 2D sections. This is weird. I don't like this. <laughs> this outfit he feels ate, like a ship post. Oh, okay. He ate we'll the, be a monk then. He ate the he ate the banana power up, and he's Monkey Mario. Become monk. It's just Mario. Going, Ooh, hoo, ha, ha. And it's just uh, DK going. You're one of us now, Mario. You guys, I, uh, hello, Derek. I, you guys hear the game okay? Compared to me and Jack. He bit you, and then, and now you're one of him. That's how that works, right? So, I've cleaned out everything. 850 stars, except for the dark side, and the darker side. There's the not a darkest side, I, I was misinformed. Okay. So it's just dark side and darker side. Welcome to the dark side. When are you doing Sonic 06? We'll see. Next game we're gonna start is Th Tony Hawk's Underground 2, I think. After that, we could That's start Sonic. Fun. Maybe. Yeah. Sonic 06. I'm disappointed I'm not gonna play that with you. Because I, I wanted to play that. That's, that, uh, that, that. I got... Yeah, I bought that. So I have it on PS3. It's ready to, ready to go. Assuming the PS3 runs it and doesn't die like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. That, that uh, dark yeah, side. Yeah, I bought that, so I have it on PS3. Right? <laughs> Assuming the PS3 runs it and doesn't. Stream Inception. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh me, Inception. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Inception. <laughs> Just. That's right. Joel X. You, you saw that video, right? Where Joel accidentally, like, opened up uh, the. The thing in in Gmod, he just says, "Oh, all oh, Inception is just a chain of Joel's just saying, oh, Inception." It's a moon tomato, Gromit. I bet this will go great with the moon cheese. Oh man! Some some somebody were like, "Hey, the moon's made of cheese," but no, it's just rock, and they're like, "Oh, fuck the moon." You're gonna get the Tony Hawk Pro Skater remasters. I was, I was thinking about it. I really don't like that they're only on the Epic Store. I'm not happy about that. Well, welcome to the club. Nobody's happy about Epic Store exclusives. And we're also, uh, we're, we're gonna do Tony Hawk's Underground 2 is the next thing we're playing. Yeah, So yeah, that's the next one. And I'll be able to play that through, uh, through, through, uh, set. yeah, maybe. Wait. Could be able to. We'll have to set Are those rabbits? They are rabbits, which, uh, I I was, we, no, not rabbits. No, rabbits. they're not rabbits. The rabbits yeah. were the bosses, remember? Oh, they got little top hats on. <laughs> that's that still is weird that that's a fucking Mario game. The rabbits kingdom yeah. battle. It is very bizarre. Yeah. Just everything about it: a that it's rabbits, b that it has guns, c that it's XCOM. D, that it involves a Nintendo license crossing over 
with another license that isn't a Nintendo license. To answer your question, we haven't decided about the Tony Hawk remasters yet. No, you, you pose the question, and I'm like, well... I am interested um, in playing them, but... I'm, uh, indi I'm indifferent. You can you can do that uh, solo if you want. I, yeah, I might do solo stream of it. It's just whether I want to give $40 to something on the Epic Store. Doesn't matter whether you want to. We're gonna do, we're gonna yeah. at least finish Underground Two and probably do a stream of Thug Pro first, because that's the that's the alternative to playing Tony Hawk online. Yeah, the I got that working. We got it on PC, and there's people yeah, see, playing it online to this day. Yeah, because it imagine a good game having a community several years afterwards. So, uh, Dark Side. As I understand, it is a boss rush. It's just one big tower of bosses. So you stop the wedding. You can't stop me. You can't stop any of us. Come on, let's see you try. Oh, this is the this is the boss rush, huh? You again? Is this the last challenge? You just boss rush these these. Uh, well, jokers? this is the dark side. And then the darker side is the gauntlet, the platforming gauntlet. Ah. Uh, like uh, there was one of those in Underground Underground Galaxy Two, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, the perfect run. Yeah, that was it. I, we didn't do that, though, because we had already done the level with checkpoints. And you're, and you're just like, okay, imagine imagine the previous level, except with no checkpoints. And you're like, okay, fair enough. We'll Since not then, do it. I think they realized that people weren't going to do that, so uh, they made it basically no option. Well, only, only sadists would do it. That's the thing. So now the only option is to be a sadist and to uh, do it in one go. Because they oh, just so didn't so put checkpoints in their final challenge levels. Surprise sadism. Speaking so, of uh, games with, you know, Challenge Road, yeah. uh, 3D World finally coming to Switch. I was wondering when that would happen because it was one of it, the very few you were, games. You were expecting it. You were like, okay. When's it gonna happen? Well, it was one of only a very few ga big games for the Wii U that hadn't come to Switch yet. Uh, the only other one I can think of that's worth checking out is Platinum's Wonderful 101. Was that not on ported to Switch by now? That's not on Switch. There's also... Platinum... Is it Pikmin 2? It might. Only on Wii U? Uh... Pikmin 3, you mean? Pikmin 2 is a GameCube game. Is Pikmin 3 on Wii U? E yes. Oh. Well, there's that, then. Yeah, so... Why can't Jack play 06? Because we're not living in the same room anymore. He's in Seattle. Yeah. And it's a PS3 game, so we have we have no way to play it remotely like that. Uh, I, I am excited for 3D World. We had talked about streaming that together because it's got co-op, but it's going to have to wait if it happens because, you know, we're separated now. It'll happen. I, I've been wanting to play that game for a while. Uh, what else? Mario Battle Royale does look cool, even if the limited time is really shitty, and I hope that changes. So is I'm going to be streaming so, that when it comes out. So wait, are you, is it, is there a price attached to it, or is no, it just, hey, free. it's a free? So it's, it's free. free to play with the Nintendo Online subscription. God damn. Be, it, 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 I will like say, you own the place, which is the same for it would Tetris have been, 99. It would have been worse if you were basically paying some coin for software that would be crippled in a few months. Yeah, no, that would be that would, extremely that would unacceptable. Be, it's already that would, pretty unacceptable. That would be that would be fucking EA level of uh, of of like maliciousness. Nintendo maliciousness is is more confusing than like seriously aggravating. It's not even really maliciousness. It's just oh god, the why moon gravity you... makes this harder. I jump too high. Tap it. Just don't. I am tapping it. This is a tap. That's the smallest I can jump. That you jumped twice as hard as when you. Okay. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna complain too much, considering you had to see me basically flub the final boss in Jack, like, so many times. 
I don't anticipate the boss this boss rush being too difficult, but the darkest darker side of the moon could be pretty challenging. We'll see. It's fine. We got we got plenty of time. Uh, 3D World. I'm happy about Mario Battle Royale. Looks cool. I'll stream it for sure. All Stars. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna be getting myself from the sound of it. Uh, basically own all three games anyway, so fuck it. Have right? emulated them, yeah. You, you know what the is, you know what the uh, for those of you who may be watching this in the future, there are ports of the three games, not not remasters. Of oh, uh, Mario you know what, 64, you know what the difference Sunshine, is, and Galaxy on the Switch. But I will say that there is go on. one major difference is that uh, is that Bowser's uh, orientation changed. Uh, yeah, apparently he no longer says so long, gay Bowser. No, uh, he goes bye bye, bye bye. And some people were sad about it, and they're like, oh, so long, gay Bowser. Then some people were embracing it. They're like, "Yeah, Bowser's now by. You heard it from Mario first. That's another case of them like wanting to to backpedal on memes after Sonic's. You're too slow. No, I, I think, I think uh, the, uh, I think that was the original Japanese translation was Mario going bye bye, because he wasn't called Bowser in Japan. Still isn't actually. He's only Bowser in the U.S. No, I know that, but they so, changed so, the line. They went out of their way to change the line because of gay Bowser. <laughs> it was not arbitrary. They, it's weird how they're, how they're expending more effort into cutting that off as opposed to just leaving it as is. Well, just exactly. Like, just, they're going out of just, their way because just, it was such a big meme. But it's not even a negative meme, is it? No. Not it's really. Just, it's, I guess they just figured it was childish and they didn't want it associated with their game. <laughs> we don't want a whole nother generation of, of So Long Gay Bowser. So Long. Yeah, leave it to them to kick out all the gays from their game. It's, it's one of those things where it's like the optics either way are just not good. No win situation. So, purportedly, in regards to the the 3D remakes. Yeah. Not remakes, though. The ports. Uh, yeah, they're not remakes. Get it right. Motion controls are optional in Galaxy. Okay. Which, if that is correct, I am I am happy for. So, are they going to use uh, R R1 as a uh, jump, and then the triggers is like you hold it down to. Well, My Galaxy weird. 2 had more motion controls in it than Galaxy 1 did, because remember, there was, like, Yoshi's Tongue. Was Is that why they didn't port it? Because they couldn't figure out Yoshi's Tongue? That was prop. I would imagine that was part of the reasoning. It's unportable. It's just too... Literally. Just... Every... The Switch is portable. This is unportable. Uh... I, I hope that's true. And that they made it so that the... What were the motion controls in Galaxy 1? There was the ball that you balanced on. The, and there was, like, the surfing, right? And then the bird. I think the bird was the third I the one. the bird was Galaxy 2, right? Wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you, you might be right. But if they made so, both of those totally not require motion controls at all, I would be happy about that. And it would increase my hopes for a uh, Skyward Sword port. Yeah. The, the Skyward Sword... It would be. It would have been very difficult to play, and I'm glad I really, I'm really not playing Skyward Sword because the motion controls for Legend of Zelda would make that game fucking obnoxious. Now here's here's the bad thing. Here here's the dumb thing they did that I think they have time to change, and I hope they do. The games are not compatible with GameCube controller. You cannot play mm. Mario Sunshine with the GameCube controller. But why not? Exactly. That it is the only controller for the Switch that is not supported. Why though? It does not seem like it would be a difficult thing to implement. So I really hope it, they change that. Nintendo. That is. <laughs> I mean, the only reason the GameCube controller still exists is Smash. 
I am taking too much damage to this green leprechaun dude. They... You'd think that they would be able to fucking just leave the coding in. I don't, I don't think it's that simple, but... Just adding I think one it is literally that simple. Doesn't seem like it would be a difficult thing to do, though. They already put in oh. all the others. Did we I... Can't just... When I did this first, did I have six hit points? Did I have armor? You had armor, yes. Well, darn. Well, just it's, e it's easy. Just don't get hit. What, what's so hard about that? Dude. Oh, it fades out after a little while. That's nice. Yeah, because it's oh. annoying when it... Oh, wait, hold on. You might be right. What? Come on. Come on. Wait, what are, What am Come I right it. about? What are the... What's the chat right about? Aw, oh, you're useless, me, brawler. What about you, Gunner? Oh, you can use me's to give you coins. Or any amiibo you can uh, use to get, like, beneficial things. It's another coin. Hold on, I'm not done. the Mario one? Mario, dwarf. I bet they thought of this. I bet they're not gonna give me any. Uh-uh-uh, I thought of that too. But invincibility? Uh, well that's nice, but it's very temporary. Is that invincibility, or...? Hey, there we- Dorf! You did it, Dorf! You got one. What about you, You Marth? probably can't use it again. Ah, uh, Marth is just coins. Alright, Dorf is- Dorf is my healer. Dorf is my white mage. White mage Dorf. Yeah, he's a dungeon fighter priest. this as much as I want? Uh, just no. a coin that time. Maybe it's random. Well, Mario gave me, uh, invincibility again. Is it invincibility? It looks like, what else could it be? I wouldn't test, I wouldn't go out of my way to test it. Don't try your luck. I think it's just alternate music. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it's out. Okay, maybe it was invincibility. Ow! Target. Don't jump for where they are. Jump for where they're going to be. I'm trying, man. That's how we're gonna get our coins for the skull outfit. Keep dying to the bunnies, the rabbits. Back. No, over there. Come on. Just hit her. She's she's vulnerable, right? No, or she's got her spiker, her metal hat on. Oh, I thought, I thought, like, you could just hit her from behind, and then she would be vulnerable. You gotta hit her spikes back at her. So where did I get armor at? Was it here? I think so. Or did I have it before I came here? Well, backtrack for it. It'll help you survive. I have to go to, to another planet and, like, buy armor at the shop or something. All right. Just, you just don't get hit. Like it. It's it's very simple. You you memorize their attack patterns and you okay. move opposite to where they're going to be. 
Like... The Magic the Crash series just stopped at 3 and there was absolutely nothing until Crash 4 two, year, two decades later. That would be that would be weird. I mean, we'd, we'd skip out on like Crash Nitro Kart and shit. That happened with at least some one series, didn't it? I can't remember the one. Uh, Stalker. What was the that game that a... got a that got a comeback like way way later or got a revival? Uh, Vampire the Masquerade got got one recently. Although that's in question. There's some weird shit going on with that. Um. What else? Uh... Kid Icarus went a long time before Uprising. Yeah, and then, the oh, game. hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's another game that that hasn't been ported to Switch yet. That was on the Wii. Oh, was it? I yeah. thought it was on Wii U. No. Okay, that makes sense, because cause he was on... Because Pit was on fucking... Okay, I get it now. Donkey Kong Country Returns went from N64 to Wii, which is it's long, but it's not that long. Yeah, uh... Banjo-Kazooie went quite a while without without one. Between 2E and Nuts and Bolts. Yeah. And now we're going long again. Uh... What else? Um... What about a boy in his blob? From NES to Wii. How was the Wii version, by I, the way? Is it? I've never played it. I don't know. I mean, I'm mean just the general reaction. Rayman 3 to Origins. There were lots of Rayman games. They never stopped making them. They were just. Oh, they just. They were all, like all spin-offs. Yeah, it was all about the rabbits. The their minions, except except somehow more charismatic. They're essentially furry minions. Rayman Arena. But, Stuff like that. R super, super Ray, the Super Rayman Love Shack, or whatever the fuck. So, So wait, where'd you get the the armor? I bought it. It's just Oh. It's fifty coins in a shop. <laughs> you just <laughs> Okay now, don't get hit. The guy has a very easy attack pattern. You just jump over the hats and then okay, when you John jump Dark a lot of hats, you just you, you hit him a few times and then you back off because he's going to swing at you. Okay, you're doing well so far. Now Thanks, hit him a couple Dad. times. Now back off. Okay, good. I hit him a couple times. Back off. You 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 are you are ground pounding way too early. Shut up. Why are you booing me? You know I'm right. Did Oh no, a slowly advancing object. There's lots of them, we... Jack! It's a two-who! <laughs> That's not a two-who. That's not even an enter the gungeon. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful and you're laughing at me! <laughs> I was just laughing because you got cornered. <laughs> He's slowly advancing at you with a tall hat. Uh... POV, you're being manhunted by Marge Simpson. <laughs> Marge Simpson. Uh, I, I love I love Marge Simpson when she was in Bo 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 Scary Hair Warrior. Whatever the fuck that show is about. <laughs> I've never seen that. I kind of want to, because the premise... I don't know how much of it is actually serious. I thought it was pretty much all comedy. thought it was like a gag series. Uh, yeah. 
I, I know Bobobo I'm... uses like his mustache to fight. Yeah, they they use hair. They're hair warriors. I thought. I thought that's that's what the tsunami uh, like uh, the trailer for it was like describing it as is like, hey, these warriors fight with their hair. It's the actually Japanese version of perfect hair forever. <laughs> God, Perfect Hair Forever. I, I I think what little I saw of it reminded me of that uh, music video that uh, that fucking Aesop Rock had where he's watching like a like a cartoon and rapping, and and the cartoon was very was like very fucking weird, had a very weird art style, and at the very end, like one of the characters turns to the TV and goes, "Please help me." Then Aesop Rock's daughter comes out and. Uh, and turns the TV off. It was like close to being accurate, but it was also... It was halfway between a good anime parody and the kind of anime parody by people who don't watch anime. This is what people who don't watch anime think anime is. Oh man, we're, we're more qualified to do anime parodies than people who, who actively dislike anime. Oh yeah. Because we know the tropes. If we were, if we were to write an anime, it'd probably be closer to something like Excel Saga. It depends on what like an be. anime parody. I mean, would you want to do, uh, or would you want to do something more in the style of uh, Urusei Yatsura? I probably wouldn't do a comedy anime. I'd do like a, a full storyline. Okay. Well, well, if you were to do a comedy anime. If you're like, okay, we'll give you enough money to do an anime series, but it has to be a comedy. Probably. It, as much as I love Excel Saga, I would probably be more Urusei. Like, a combination of madcap and kind of dry. Yeah. It'd be... Because it's kind of... It's always sunnyish in a little ways. It's just a bunch of assholes having going on weird interactions with one another. Yeah. I, that'd, that'd be fun. You just have, like, a bunch of, like, kooky characters... In like a small town, they're dealing with like strange stuff, like strange strange town Sakahiro or something. I think this boss is like the easiest of the four. Yeah, there's just no way to the girl rabbit is nice because you can interrupt her like middle stage like this. Even if I hit him, it doesn't interrupt it, though, so I just have to wait for him to finish. Yeah. Draw on a uh, star triangle, David here. Triangle, triangle. I can interrupt that, though, so that's nice. No. I'm just gonna stand in one place and knock him away if he comes at me. Sounds good. Oh no, he drew Bill Cipher! <laughs> Oh, that's totally YV. What are you talking about? Let me made that joke. Uh, so Bill Cipher, that uh, that uh, demon, that triangle shaped demon from Gravity Falls, and then there's YV from uh, from Nuclear Throne slash Gun Gods, who is basically a white triangle, except instead of Bill C talking like Bill Cipher, what would you describe Bill Cipher's voice as? Uh, evil SpongeBob. Yeah, uh, YV sound, sounds like uh, sounds like a high pitched like fake fake uh, gangsta type dude. Like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Gonna do it. And then he's like the god of gun and guns and money. Kind of picture uh, like halfway between Bill Cipher and Freaknik, which you still have not seen. What's Freaknik? It was uh, it was the the actual event was like a rap equivalent of uh, of Woodstock. And there was oh. an Adult Swim animated special, like 30, 45 minutes or something, with a plot and everything. It was pretty good. Pretty well, good. I guess I own the ship now. Bye! <laughs> Come on, quit while you're time. ahead. Steal the ship. We were perfect. Did everything Bowser asked. Then you mucked it up. No one will hire us now. You're gonna pay for all of it! You're, you're oh, it's this, that's what, this is this ride. gimmick. Well, if it, this doesn't interfere too much with the moon. No, yeah, you, get gotta, out of here. You, you know what? 
you didn't even need the armor. You, you see, this is this is why dodge is good. You're gonna jinx it. See, in Payday 2, uh, there's two trains of thought. Armor versus dodge. Yeah. And, uh... You and know, options are good. And you know what? Uh, Ow. People say that dodge is king. Because... Because... Well... Did you just... Oh my god. That would have been it without the armor. Do a little Stupid bit little too uh... No. Hey. Go down. I got it. We're fine. I, I wonder if we have the, the mother. <laughs> it was of the just beast you yet. threaded the knee. Is that it? You I got him. Know. It only took two hits. Is is Ma No, that was three. Oh. I thought that was okay. Dean Tama bounces between be having a serious arc and constantly doing parodies of everything. I liked when Excel, Excel Saga did have a story, despite being a bunch of wildly different parody episodes. It wrapped it together by the end, and I liked that. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's weird trying to picture it trying to go back and forth. I don't think that would work as well. Yeah. And maybe. You could probably light. You could probably darken it up. You, you can lighten it up. You gotta follow the same internal consistency. If a main character is proven to be indestructible, then then you gotta still keep that, even if things are dire. Lord Il like, Palazzo, with his vague sailor. Oh, hey, Captain Toad. Vague Sailor Moon villain powers. Oh man, the best Sailor Moon villain power. The vague shit. Well, that's all they are, though. The yeah. Sailor Moon villains just wave their hands, and then just attacks don't happen, and the and then the bad good guys get blasted away. Snap the fingers, and then suddenly, and then suddenly a big wave hits, and then all the magical girls go flying out. All right, where are you, Mama Rabbit? Oh no, it's the robot. What if Sailor Moon had shown in like style fight scenes? It could only be improved. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is the final. This is their final form. I haven't even seen their final form. No, we fought this. So it's just like Sailor Moon, you get a, she gets a transformation, and then it's like, oh, so I get a special attack that can instantly kill my enemy? No, you just get a big power boost in, like, in like uh, purification powers. Oh, that's right, I need to be the bird. Where are you, where are you, birds? Oh no, I'm using Hammer Brothers. Good luck. It was basically be the magical girl team in, uh... In Dragon Ball's Super, like they had to, they had to mitigate the two styles and compromise. Yeah, I would say that I would say that uh, that meant that uh, it would be radically improved if. Uh, what was I uh, what, sorry, I, I uh, lost my train of thought there. If Sailor Moon uh, it would had be, an actual like Sailor fights. Moon, cause I, I consider like as far as Shonen level fight tiers, I consider JoJo to have some of the better. Like fight scenes, because they it really does like explore people's powers and use them in interesting ways. And if Sailor Moon had like purification powers, like it was fully explored. That's basically her role is the is the white mage type of character. Yeah, yeah her 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 ability is basically Golden Wind, kind no. of. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that, but she is Crazy the white Diamond. mage. Closer. Uh. She's about purification and, and exorcism of uh, evil things. Yeah. yeah but the, prob like... the problem with Sailor Moon fights is that it's all a one-hit kill. Everything just yeah. comes down to Moon landing her one attack, and the other characters are purely for existing and maybe holding the bad guy down for that one I attack. I would love it if, like, there are some episodes where one of the... Uh... One of the scouts had to deal with the villain by themselves, yeah. and the fight scene was more interesting. Like Ray has to use her fire powers to like interesting effect. They kind of tease that a couple times, but then they're never able to follow through because oh wait, writing a fight is hard. A fight isn't even. I mean, everything's hard if you don't know how to fucking do it. If you know how to do it, it's easy. That's that's what I learned is that is that is that if somebody says, well, it's hard, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's hard because you haven't done it, like, enough. When I first started doing, like... When you first start out with a job, it seems hard. But the point is to learn enough about it so that you can...
do it more easily. Like every like Dark Souls started off as like fucking tough for me, but then I learned the ins and outs of it. And while and while it was still like difficult, it, it didn't seem difficult. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So really, if you don't know how to do a fight scene, you just gotta practice in writing out fight scenes. Like, uh, shit, now I just want to write a fanfic which is just Sailor Moon, except except with improved fight scenes. I just call it the Sailor Moon uh, Expanded Combat Patch. <laughs> That's the name of the fanfic. <laughs> they added combat to Minecraft, remember that? No one likes it. The Sailor Moon Combat Patch. Added combat to save, added proper combat to save the moon. It got to a point too, like even setting aside the linearity of the battles, quote unquote. It got to a point where they felt the need to have a monster in every single episode, even if they had enough going on without a random monster attack shoved in. And it, it, some of them were just treated like gags. It, you know what? Like the monster have, showed up like, for two you can minutes. Have a division of. Of like sub soldiers under them, you just make them good, and then you can, and then you can do the shonen style of devoting multiple episodes to like fighting one opponent, and that's how you, that's how you do it. Thank if you, you gonna... Yeah, there's a game going on. Sorry, we been distracted talking about anime. This is basically just... our stream. Our streams are, are us talking about. Like, oh man. They just turned it. They just turned into fucking jokes, though. Like they would shove a, a shove a monster in that had nothing to do with the episode. It would die in a minute. I've been seeing a lot of like video titles pop up, in my recommended. Oh, nice! I'm the fucking king of the moon. Wear that fucking shit. You've earned it. So that's so cool. That's if you marry Peach. Oh, there's. I guess there's more. If I, I'll come back later. So, so you've seen oh, video titles popping up on YouTube about uh, does Sailor Moon hold up? No, no. Our, our opinion, no, because we, we've talked about it numerous times. It is, it is um, a very, it is not a well-written series. Well, I mean, I will say, okay, I'll say it's not a consistently well-written series. I will say the strongest points are towards the beginning of a season and towards the end of a season. And kind of in the middle, it dips in quality. It's very notice. This kind of shit is very noticeable. I don't think like, at the start of the later and seasons. the end even it knows what it's doing. It's just pulling shit out of its ass. It does the same thing every season ending. It's got all all the scouts are gonna die. It's gonna be down to Sailor Moon, and she's gonna pull a Deus Ex Machina out of her ass to blow the bad guy away. Every single season. Yes, but the middle part of it is worse. Yeah. No, because none of it's it good. The take, middle part is because it, it doesn't even take that thin plot seriously enough. That's oh. why I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is that the beginning and the end parts are the strongest parts of it. And even then, they're not that strong. The it's setting, a part. It's like the end of Conquer. It's a party to celebrate Mario becoming king. She he usurped the throne because Peach spurned him. Now he's King Mario. Hello. Are you comfortable? That's not a lot of room for you. Mario's heel turn. He becomes king. All hail King Mario. He won King of the Ring. We need. We need. We need a thumbnail. You gonna ask fish for a thumbnail? He's, he's looking at. He's looking at the pretty lady. Fuck it. I'm the fucking king of the world. Not just this world. All worlds. King Mario. And Peach Hello. is like, what the? I'm gonna go marry Paul. I'm gonna go start my own kingdom on the moon with Blackjack and Pauline. Fuck you, Peach. <laughs> King Mario of the moon. Oh man, Usagi's gonna have some shit to say about that. That's right. We're we're inv That's why we're talking about Sailor Moon. We're in the Moon Kingdom. We're invading. <laughs> we have become like Bowser. We're like, why the fuck are you're like, why the fuck are we talking about Sailor Moon? I just killed it's, like, it's like, cause we're on the moon, of course. Dub of the North Star hold up. I have not never seen Fist of the North Star. It's on my list. We That's something that we we're to probably watch gonna that. watch. Maybe uh, after Baki. After Baki or Lane. Oh no, this makes this makes the frog hard. Also, also, I, I mean, I've been meaning to watch uh, Dirty Pair. 
and I got like I got like two minutes in before I got distracted by something else. I think at dinner or something. But uh, the opening theme of, of Dirty Pair slaps in the beginning. Yeah, it's just like Russian, Russian, because this the song is titled Russian Roulette, and it's just 80s rock. It's pretty cool. Well, there we are. Oh, I think if I think we can uh, choose to beat this like mini boss to go in with armor. That would help. I mean, even if you lose two, you'd still be up one. I think it's just slightly for, slightly too high for me to cheese it, though. Unless... I'm king. So if we, if we do, if we never do another... So this is the latest in the Mario continuity. Con by our uh, mental state, our uh, headcanon, Mario has become king of the moon. Because fuck. Princess Peach. Come here, Jojo hat. Come closer. Like, people envision a, a alternate universe where uh, where Mario marries Bowser. No, this, uh, that's that's broke. Woke. Mario marries Pauline and becomes king of the moon. It's fine. You'll get it. Or you'll die, and then you'll start at the very beginning again. You're supposed fact, to stack the Goombas, right. but that takes too long. Fuck that. In fact, it isn't complete is one of the greatest tragedies. There's not a complete dub for Fist of the North Star. Oh, that's a shame. Or is, du is dub of the North Star something proper? Is that like a fan dub? I don't mind... You know what? In all honesty, I don't mind watching uh, Ow. Fist of the North Star uh, subbed. Yeah. So. And then again, I, I don't think uh, Dirty Pair has a, has a proper fan... Fan, uh, fan dub either, or uh, fan, a proper dub either. Is it like heavily it edited might. or something? I think the story was that it's got like three different dubs, but yeah. I wasn't able to find any of them. And one of them had fucking Wind, uh, Wendy. Wendy Lee? It? I think it was Wendy Lee. It could have been the other one. Michelle Ruff, voice of Rukia, or voice of Yoruichi. I think, I think so. Let me let me double check. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly double check this. Wendy Lee is Yoruichi and Haruhi and Konata. Come in, lovely angels. Uh, Black Butler Season 1 ended with a big out-of-nowhere gag. I've seen Black Butler Season 1. I don't remember that. What, what are you What are you referring to with that? Oh, hello. Uh, so, uh, Red-Haired 1K is voiced by Laura Cody, and Yuri is Wendy Lee. I don't know Wait. Laura Cody. Uh, yeah, Wendy Lee, they, uh, we all know who uh, Wendy Lee is. Uh, yeah, who the... is Laura Cody? Okay, got it. Uh. Oh, uh, she was a a character. She was uh, in Akira. The new dub. I know. It's not gonna tell you. It doesn't tell me. this. The, I am. I'm looking at IMDb. I should look at uh, at uh, behind the voice actors. Uh-oh. That's not good. I think I could have made that. Alright. She was in... Metal Gear Solid 4... As... As Rosemary. Okay. Who I think was, uh, was uh, Raiden's wife. Uh, yeah. Girlfriend. Eventually yeah. wife. Uh... And Dynasty Warrior Six as a character called Yu Ying, which I don't remember who that who that one is. I'm usually up on my lore. Uh, she was in The World Ends with You, uh, which is by the Kingdom Hearts creator. Yes. Uh, Tenchi Muyo GXP. I think I watched that. 
That wasn't great. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service as a child called Ket and Designer Woman. Okay. Ah, uh, she was Sheeta in Laputa Castle in the Sky. Oh, okay. Well, as there's, well as there's Okami someone. Duffy. Oh, oh, fuck, that had like two or three dubs. Was it Castle the, in the Sky? He's not going to tell you which dub it is, is it? Uh, no, it just says, uh, it just says that she, she was a voice. Uh, she was a bunch of characters in a, in a TV show called Magical Girl Pretty Sammy. <laughs> she voiced two characters called K. One was Dirty Pear and the other was Akira. K being the, uh, the love interest for, uh, for yeah. the main character. So, so a whole lot of, so she, she's kind of, she didn't get as popular as Wendy Lee or get as prolific as Wendy Lee. So then that was the first dub. That was the streamlined pictures dub. Then they were redubbed okay. by ADV Films uh, with uh, Pamela Lawler and uh, Pam Pamela Lawler Jones and Allison Sumrall. You ever heard of them? No. Right, I'm gonna take a look. These are the dirty pair. Yeah, dirty pair. Don't call them that though. They don't like it. No, they're they're the lovely angels. They just get the bad nickname Dirty Pair because they just happen to work missions where they accidentally destroy everything. So there's just Lena Inverse in space. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Don't call me the Bandit Slayer, the D enemy of dragons, blah blah blah. Pink Sorceress. Um, so Pamela pink Waller one? was in Dirty Pair uh, and a show called Those Who Hunt Elves. And that's it. I've heard the name of it. I don't know anything about it. Hate elves. Hate them. Hate, hate elves. <laughs> They're elven lies. Racist fucks. Fucking Thalmor. All right. So that's uh. So that's her. She was. She only had like two roles. The other one, Allison Sumerall. Oh what? Oh, there's little dudes showed up. Oh, you better be careful of that. How many you got? I'm down she to my last pro hit. She was more pro uh, prolific. Oh, oh, this one. She she was in Monster Musume. Okay. Uh, Amagi Brilliant Part. Uh, uh, Girls und Panzer, the the girls tank war. Uh, show. Fuck. Ah shit! You gotta start from the beginning, don't you? Yep. It's all shit. in one. Parasite. Akami got kill. I remember uh, when we tried to watch that. You 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 thought that that was uh, depressing. Uh, it, it was that was my main complaint with it. It was very forced. It was uh, anachronistic as shit. Yeah, guns and mach and uh, swords and shit. Sweater vests. Oh man, she's been in a lot of shit. Most of which we we didn't even watch. Yeah, she, she's in all the anime we just don't watch. Infinite Stratos, Apple Seed, Air. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, okay. Okay, she was an elf in lead. As? Number three in Saito. God, you fucking Goomba! How dare you! I am king! Okay, something we have watched. I found it. Uh... She was Kagura in Azumanga. Okay. And, uh... Also, Mune's mother in Magical Shopping Arcade at Benobashi. Mune's mother? Mune had a mother? Mune Mune was the really, like, buxom fan service girl. I guess she had a mother. According to, uh... And then... Also, she was also in those who on El hunt elves. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably the same studio if they're in Dutch. What is together. those who hunt elves? What the fuck is this show? Is this a, is this a hentai? What what is this? I doubt I'll it. Look it up. Those who hunt elves. <laughs> I 
TV tropes. Uh, first line. It's a show about three random people who strip elves naked. It's not a porno, honestly. Oh, okay. So it's an etchy show. Presumably. Yeah, yeah it's not head tight. The three characters in question are Junpei, the headed martial artist, Ritsuko, tomboy gun enthusiast, and Ari, an award-winning actress. They've been accidentally teleported from Japan to a high fantasy parallel world. Okay, and Isekai when, Etchy. And, the, and when the spell to send them back home is interrupted, the magic goes berserk and manifests itself as five arcane signals, sigils tattooed onto five elves across the land. There is no way of knowing which elves have the sigils, so with no lack of misplaced determination and the help of an elven sorceress called Cecilia, who is technically responsible for this mess in the first place, the trio vow to hunt down every female elf they can and strip them bare to inspect their bodies and retrieve all five fragments. Only the female elves. Yeah, not the male ones. God damn it! Missed. I, I wanted to go back and get a heart. It cost me two. Yes, well, that's what you get for being greedy. Well, show me for wanting to live. It's basically what? So it's 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 basically a comedy, but there's not as much senseless fan service as the synopsis implies. According to this, the story okay. focuses more on can on character development and rule of funny and the sheer ridiculousness of their situation. Well, what? Uh... Fuck. What what era was the was it made? It was ninety eight. Okay. Well, yeah, it was. Even fan service anime was more tasteful back then. <laughs> Older anime is better. Do you think Luffy will become king of the Hokage Saiyans before the end of the decade? Apparently, uh, the end of One Piece is four to five years away, according to Oda recently. So the correct, so the answer is yes. Yes. Of course, he's already king of the Hokage Saiyans in the mind of one fortunate child. Or, well, I don't know, fortunate, I don't know about that, but... Unfor... I can't... There's nothing fortunate about... Uh, Oda... Did have cancer? I, I think it was cancer. There, there was a young child who was dying to a disease, and Oda told them the ending of One Piece, which, by the way, is Luffy becomes king of the pirates and gets the One Piece. Shocker. What a... Then again, he may have just lied to the kid yeah. to, like, make him happy. Because it's like, what, he's going to survive and then reveal he was lied to? He's not going to... I'm not going to continue that sentiment, because that's just going to make me sad. Anyway, four to five years, supposedly, in the manga. Yes. So we'll all figure it out um, if uh, the world doesn't end. I'm waiting or... for, uh, I'm waiting for everything but the final arc to be animated, and then the anime gets cancelled. Yes, and then we'll have uh, One Piece final act, which is probably going to be as if breakneck, if not more so than any Yasha final act. Or if it's like Sailor Moon, we won't get that, and it'll just never be animated. Won't that be cool? We fight chaos. What a missed opportunity. They went through the bother of remaking Sailor Moon with new animation, and then they... Not only did they not animate the final part, they didn't even get as far as the original. They got, uh, they did three seasons. And then that's it. Yep. <laughs> they, they knew that the fourth season, they didn't want to do the carnival shit, because even that was, that was dumb even for them. I don't know, how, how do we draw Sailor Moon saving the world naked in modern animation? That's too lewd. We can't. We can get away with that shut back it, in the day, but... Shut it down, boys. <laughs> that, that is how the original Sailor Moon anime ends, for those of you who were not aware. By, by the way, you, the Dark Carnival arc, the Dead Moon Circus arc, would have been better if uh, Sailor Moon and Hisoka had a fight scene. Yeah. It's just... Oh, they, it's hi just... they hired me here at the Dead Moon Circus. Nothing personal. <laughs> are you a, are you a Yoma? Oh my, I've never been called that before. Oh, uh, so I mentioned some interest in uh, giving Dungeon Fighter Online another shot as a solo yes. stream. Cause and you, talk, you I talked about before. the priest character. That was one of the things I talked about. Because I yeah, played it before and it didn't click with me, but I kind of want to give it another go. 
Because it's got, it's got a lot of cool, like Maple Story, it's got a lot of cool aesthetics and production values. And I mentioned on the Discord, oh, this is ice water, I don't want to be in this. I mentioned on the Discord, I find it hilarious that Dungeon Fighter Online's interpretation of the traditional priest class in RPGs is fucking Broly Belmont. Yes. Like, of all classes, that. the priest is the guy who has the giant weapon and goes around bashing people's brains in. Well, in the name of God, of course, but... Yeah, it's... it's Combat Priest. They've got every, char every character class in the game has a full, like, uh, Korean sung theme song. Too. Oh, nice. The male priest sounds like, uh, Dame Dane. God damn it, there should be a gunslinger ca ca uh, class is. that looks like Tommy Versetti from Grand Theft Auto. Uh, doesn't look like Tommy Versetti. The male gunner in that game is literally Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> what other classes are there? Uh, the, well, there's male the and female like versions of every class. Does the fighter look like Guts? Uh, no, they're, the fighter is more like Ryu, but there's a Berserker class that is kind of like Guts. Actually, Ryu like, Hayabusa, Ryu from Street Fighter, or Ryu from, uh, from, from, uh, what was it? Dr yes. Breath of Fire. Yes? Yes. Okay. So all of them. But Street Fighter. He's a, he's a martial arts dude. Okay. There's male and female um, fighter, male and female slayer, which is the Berserker class. Okay. Uh, oh, what does the, the Slayer class look like for male and female? Uh, the Berserker arm. Berserker arm? Yeah. Like, you know, like like the Berserker class. They got the one possessed demon arm. Oh, okay. I have to, I have to leave the Yoshi to talk to the Sphinx. Care to answer my riddle? What's the only kingdom that I, the Great Sphinx, have not visited? I don't Wasn't fucking in remember. C uh, you were in the Sand Kingdom. He was in the Seaside. I don't. He wasn't in. I don't think he was in Wooded, because I did all the moons. Oh, I only get one chance per attempt of this run, I guess. I think I got it wrong. He fucked up. Must have been the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, there's the Priest class. There's a mage, obviously, and a couple mages, of... Uh, female mages, Lena Inverse. Not really. It's more like a, she's got a Lolita style going on, like a gothic of kind of thing. All right, I'm going to look up the class. Not in a fan service. I could have just done this this entire time. But. And then there are a couple unique ones, like... Uh, is it a hey, demonic female, lancer, which is like a berserker with a weapon. There's a knight which is a shield fighter and a agent which is like a like a secret agent dude with a sword and, and gun oh man the original concept for the priest is hilarious she is just a girl with like a giant cross weapon i mean the, the other one still is still a giant cross weapon except this one looks more uh is wearing black damn it what else what else we got thief Let's see the thief. The dark elf. Yep. Fancy looks like uh looks like Fantasy Jack the Ripper. Email gunner. You know, aside from aside from male priest, a whole lot of them just uh Wait. Male Slayer looks like fucking Soul Bad Guy from Guilty Gear. Yeah, he does. It's a riddle. He's from the desert. I get. Okay, that makes sense. Well, most most of the Sphinx's questions in this game are just trivia questions. They're not intended to be actually. You got, did you get? You got out Sphinxed by the Sphinx. You fool. You tragic fool. What Hell else were we talking about? Uh, oh, there was something else I was going to say with uh, in regards to Dungeon Fighter Online. Yeah? 
say it. I forgot it. Damn. The music is kick ass, I know. No, it was, it was something, to, something to do with a class. I just, I lost it. Ooh, Agent. Oh, God. <laughs> the Agent looked the like your kind of character. Agent is the one that looks like a fucking Devil May Cry character. Fuck. No, get on. Oh, that, okay, sure, that worked. He's got one big, long-ass fucking katana, a gun, he's wearing sun- or just regular glasses, even. And, uh, and has, like, a white trench coat. Like, white long coat. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He, he's- he's- he's this cool motherfucker. I'm gonna have to activate this. I guess I don't have to, but, uh... What does male mage look like? I don't. These guys are gonna overrun me. Maybe. Maybe I can deal with. Nope. I hit it. Male mage looks like a fucking Disgaea character. I can see it. Dark Knight. There's also, also a lot of uh, subclasses in the game. Like every class has four different branches or something. Oh. Okay. And uh, one of the one of the male subclasses. Or male mage subclasses was a summoner that you could actually just stand back the entire time and summon swarms of minions and do nothing. Did they get rid of it? No. Oh. It just it sounded like a funny thing to play in an MMO. Just like, you know what? That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. It turns it'd the game like into a minion turning an MMO into game. an MMO MOBA. I mean, you have commands to direct and control the minions, but you you don't do anything at all yourself. Creator. Yeah, they had some like two limited time classes. I don't know what the deal with those are. Dark that was also another interesting experimental one, because the game uses like regular controller controls, except for that character who clicks on the screen to do things. And she just makes stuff happen. So do the do the subclasses have different pictures? Oh yes they do. Oh, do kind they? of. Uh, 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 I guess somewhat. Got the Blade Master, Soul Bender. What does that look like? Oh jeez. Soulbender's got a glowing purple sword, and he looks like he's, he's having a really good time. Berserker. Oh god. Berserker. Oh, he's, he's just totally lost it. Azura. Oh, he better... oh. You know, I found Azura out looks pretty... that, uh... uh the Dota character based off Lena Inverse has more Rule 34 results than Lena Inverse. I'm <laughs> I'm a little mad about that. So, well, I mean, the only reason that that that's happened is because is because Dota 2 has a bigger fan base than Slayers, unfortunately. Yeah. All, all the Slayers pictures were drawn before the internet existed. Slayers is, is great. If anybody can, you should check it out. If you haven't, it's a, it's a very, very fun series. I'm realizing a lot of things that made it stand out to me as I'm rewatching it that uh, I, I, I kind of hadn't thought about prior. Oh, yeah? Like, for one, for one pretty big thing is that it's probably the most, like, gender-equal series that I've ever seen, even among series that try to be that. Just because that... The, the female characters are, in all ways, treated exactly the same as the male characters. They get to be just as badass, they get to impale people, they get to- they get just as hurt in fights, they're not protected by any magical chivalry barrier. I think- I- I think, yeah, I think so- I think several of them yeah, they take as they Remember take when some Amelia gnarly got, like, wounds, fucked up and just almost bled out. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a it's like an actual 
It's like as if they're like actually well written. What is it with like light novels being? Because that was a light novel. Was uh, uh yeah, it was a series of light novels. Yeah. Man, I miss Slayers. It was cool. It's a shame, that, shame that's the last, those last two seasons they did look really nice in modern animation. Yeah. It's a it's a shame that they're probably never going to uh, to remake. Uh, what if they do? Or Ursa oh. got like that one animation in like 2006 or whenever they did that, like 20 years after they'd done any animation for the series. And I would hope that if they did it, they would get all the original voice cast back if they could. If they could. That's another thing about the Slayer's dub in particular is that. Rewatching it, there, there are problems with the dub. It's not amazingly acted a lot of the time because it is of that era. But it is unmodified and is for an adult audience. It's extremely faithful for the time. Yeah, that's good. God, I just, I, I like, uh, I like the fact that Brock uh, was a, was allowed to be. <laughs> it was just, it was, it was the best I've heard of. Uh, of that voice actor was just Eric Stewart, Brock, and Kaiba yeah. gets to voice a, a main character in Slayers. I always forget he's Kaiba, because because his 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 voice is just it's like he's he's a completely different person when playing Kaiba. He's like goes from because Brock and Gowry are both like uh, lovable goofball characters, and Kaiba isn't. He's not like lovable or goof goofball. God, if you tweet or Kaiba done with your like Tony, party. the Tony Stark of the Yu-Gi-Oh verse. Who Kaiba? Yeah, if he was a lovable goofball, he'd basically be just Tony Stark. Yeah. Except in. Except, Kaiba was uh, impractically skeptical, which is why we talk about him and Hercule all the time. Except even Hercule figured out that, like, the shit wasn't all tricks; that it was real. Also, Hercule, even at his worst, was still way more likable than Kaiba. Yeah. Because. He came across as, like, self-arrogant, but he also had enough self-preservation to know when he was, like, completely fucking outmatched. The, uh, riddle answer was not correct, unfortunately. It must be the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, you, you, you overthought it. If Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha came back, then why not Slayers? Did Yu Hakusho get new animation recently? I didn't hear about it. I saw someone posted an image of, like, uh, Yusuke holding up... A, a Sailor Moon DVD and like saying it's a classic plebe <laughs> Fuck. You, Yusuke Urameshi likes uh, Sailor Moon this yeah there was like year. okay early, I gotta watch that that sounds cool man early hentai culture just shipped those two relentlessly Yusuke and, and Sailor Moon well someone posted in the discord a bunch of examples of cross references between the series because those are the two that are married in real life oh are they? the well, manga authors uh, see apparently I didn't know that. in uh, I guess we just must have not caught it in uh, Hunter Hunter Kalua's sister there's like a flashback when she's a little girl and she's reading a Sailor Moon manga. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Go back now. Make a wish on, uh, on Nanika that, uh, that Sailor Moon is real. Nautica, can you make the Sailor Moon have better fight scenes? Okay. okay. Now I need your liver. Oh, damn. Oh, wrong way, Mario! Hey, you know what? Look on the bright side. At least you'll be able to try that Sphinx puzzle again. If I die, yeah. I'd, I'd rather not. I think they're actually expecting me to wall jump at any point of this, but I'm doing it anyway. Better. Wall jumping is king. Why would they expect you not to wall jump? Wall jumping will work! Is 
So, Sailor Moon gets light uh, purification powers. Mercury gets water power. It's kind of weird Mars because is... light was also Venus's thing. Almost like they were at one point the same character. <laughs> so you get two people with light powers, although Sailor Moon's is more uh, is more purifying in nature, and Venus's is more offense based. Yeah, well, one is light, and one is like uh, white magic. Yes, thing, white like magic and difference. light earth, because earth is uh, earth is Venus's uh, thing, and I guess Neptune's also another. There's a, there well, is some no. overlap with them. Uh, Jupiter was thunder and earth. Yeah. Thunder and Earth. Venus... Uh, she cross-classed. Venus was light, Mercury was water, and Mars was fire. Fire and also some level of purification, although it wasn't the gentle purification. No, it was the fucking... That wasn't her powers fucking... as a scout, though. That was just because she was, you know, a shrine maiden. She was Japanese. Yeah, yeah. she cross-classed into being a shrine maiden. She was able to use that in interest. She was able to combine her natural powers. Oh, yeah, that's because that's because her father was... Her grandfather was a Yoma... What? She was, he was possessed at one point to be one. No, be, no, they were like this, their souls were descended from that of like Yoma. Remember that arc? No. They're like we gotta awaken all the Yoma. But they'd been like they'd been possessed by those legendary Yoma or whatever it was. I thought I thought it was because their souls were. I keep making that same mistake. Whatever, it's fine. They were like reincarnations in the same way that uh, that Sailor Moon was like a reincarnation. They were the reincarnation of those Yoma. I, I don't remember conclusively. Uh, and then yeah. Uranus was so, kind of Earth. She was like ground, ground, Earth shaking. Yeah. And then was, Neptune was, was also water, her. just stepping on Mercury's terrain. The Starlights didn't really have any elemental powers. Uh, they just they Ur they had the power of the womb. That's about it. And Pluto was j Pluto and Saturn were both just fucking death. Was their element? No, uh, Saturn was death. Pluto was time. Uh, okay, but her her thing was dead scream. That was oh, yeah. Pluto? Okay, no, we're trying to make this better. We're not trying to justify this. Well, we stupid... have to establish what it is before we can make it better. Yeah, it's time. We get we'll establish that. No, we're, we're changing it to time. She has time. She has time powers. She's she has time Zaw wizard. Zawaldo. And then uh I'm gonna try not to activate these because this got real chaotic. Yeah, uh, just don't activate Too late. You, you fight. You activated them. I it's sure gonna get real did. chaotic. Oh wait, it stopped. It uh it desynced. You're gonna get hit. Oh, no you're not. Man, it ain't easy being king, so 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 this is Mario's final challenge. He 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 allows himself to become king by taking the king's test. Is that is that what this is? Sure. This is the test to become king. Peach definitely had to go through this. Or maybe she hasn't been willing, that's why she's still princess. If she, if she, if he's able to do this, he proves himself to be a worthier monarch than Peach, and therefore inherits the Mushroom Kingdom. And Peach just, uh, Princess Peach becomes Duchess Peach. <laughs> you, or no, he becomes King of the Moon, so there we go. And the next Mario game will be like Romance of the Three Kingdoms, between Mario, Peach, and Bowser. I, I like this storyline we're coming up with. This is unique. This is original. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like Aura, Aura too. <laughs> Charles seems to like Ata ta, ta, ta more. Aura, Aura, Aura versus Ata. Ta, ta, ta. I mean, Aura, Aura, Aura is ridiculous, but Ata ta, 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 that's that's raw. That's, that's some fucking raw shit. If you hear it, it's also just Bruce it, Lee though. Well, Bruce Lee, I don't think he went. Ah, da, 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 da. He just kind of. Well, ah, da, ha, oh, what the hell? What the hell? It's a combination between Bruce Lee's thing and the. Maybe that's why he did it, because Mario says it. Oh, man. I, 
can still recover. If I get if I don't get hit and I get hearts, I can go back up to six. You can do it. Nope. Alas. Maybe you should just res uh, you should just uh, start from scratch. Oh, but then I'll have to fight the guy again. Yeah. That's true. Fine. Keep going. This will be an extra challenge run for you. So would you... Because... Because uh, Usagi in Sailor Moon doesn't really have a whole lot of character development. No, she starts really. off as being like a like a whiny, like crybaby, and only really stops at the at the very very tail end, where she's like, okay, I guess I've got to get the... serious now. I didn't jump. What the fuck hit me? It hit my hat. Fuck this. Yes. All right, we're, we're starting from scratch. Here we go again on our own. And so she... I love it if she if she acted all goofy, but she really, but it really be lied like a, like some kind of rampage mode she could go into if she's if, her, if she's backed into a corner. You want everyone to have like a one... rampage mode. What? You want everyone to have a rampage mode. Not like a not like uh, not, or more like or more like uh, just like uh, she's she's more clever than she than people give her credit for or something. Yeah. Like, just... She does have plot radar. She knows exactly where need she needs to be to progress an episode. Yeah, she's like, something... She has she has good intuition. I'd love her to have, like... I don't know why I'm here, but intuition. something fishy's gonna go on, so I should hang out here for a little while. And Luna's like, why are you here? And she's like, I don't know, something... Something's up with this. She's like Columbo. Because <laughs> Columbo... Like, if, I don't know if you ever seen Columbo, but he just kind of shows up to where, to where like uh, she, he figures out who the murderer is and is just like, now, now I, let me let me get this straight here. You just just one more. Th he just figures out what, what stories are bullshit and not, and he acts like an idiot to throw throw them off guard. Luffy does the same thing. He is he immediately knows whose ass he needs to kick to conclude an arc. And the yes. entire arc is usually just him figuring out how to get to that person. Yeah, it's like if Sailor Moon's uh, crew, uh, if the Sailor Scouts and the Straw Hat Pirates like linked up. Uh, Sailor Moon would be like, this guy, we gotta we gotta go here. Why? I don't know, that seems nice. And then meet up with Straw Ferris, where you go? We're going here. Why? Because Luffy says we gotta kick to kick this person's ass, and she's like, See, I told you! You guys never listen to me. I know, right? What can you do? Oh, I can purify things. Oh, is that a devil fruit power? What's a devil fruit? Purifies a devil fruit, it turns into an angel fruit. What do those do? It allows you, it gives you powers, but the downside is you gotta stay in the sea. Or else you'll, you'll lose all your powers and get weakened. Alright, six hearts, moving on. Have you guys seen the Kenshiro vs. Jojo death battle? Uh, no. I tend not to oh, watch death battles unless I am familiar with both characters. So maybe after I watch Fist of the North Star. Yeah, Fist of the North Star is going to be fun. I, I read the manga for Fist of the North Star. I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of... Because the manga, it's a post-apocalyptic uh, martial arts story. As those kinds of things tend to be. I guess every... How much, was it at all a parody, or was it just the thing that everything parodies? Was what? Was Fist of the North Star in any way a parody, or is that oh, just no. the thing that? No, it was. It was. It was legit shonen. It was not a parody. Because that's what everything does Fist parody now. Like that was the Excel Saga episode that was the the post apocalypse. Was uh, Fist yeah. of the North Star. Yeah, I guess somewhat Desert Punk. Hey, remember Desert Punk? That existed. 
It was about a trapper. It seemed cool. It just the first wasn't few episodes were cool. Then, then it kind of just removed the mystique from the character, and it's just like, what the? Why the fuck are we watching? I thought we were gonna watch this character be cool, but no, we're just. It's just no. He's actually lame. After the third episode, I dropped off that series hardcore. When did you drop off the series? But around the same time? Didn't we watch it together? Yeah, we watched it together. I didn't watch it watched... past where we watched it. Yeah. So uh, I, think it I didn't watch point. it past where we watched it. That's what I'm saying. It was the third episode. And then we just kind of dropped off the series. Yeah. Because it was like it kind of lied to us. Spontaneously turns into Steam Gardens music. It's good. It's good music. Good track. Yep. All right, for reals this time. I got your answer, Sphinx. It's the Mushroom Kingdom. In the original Sphinx, is you just keep asking and, and guessing over and over again. So this is a way to make it harder is by having to do the gauntlet first. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom. Dear ye giver of the correct answers. Oh. Well, that's good to know that's there. Yeah. Very helpful, Mr. Sphinx. Say hi yeah, to the King of Sabasa that for me. That's the Mushroom Kingdom checkpoint. Maybe it wasn't something about, uh... Dungeon Fighter Online, maybe I was going to say something about Slayers, is that, uh... I, f I found out that, uh, Zelos has his very own Wikipedia article. That made me kind of happy. <laughs> he does? There are four Slayers characters that have their own complete Wikipedia articles. Because I guess uh, the Lina, series is that significant. Lena, Gowry, Zelos, and... Amelia? Naga. Na Naga. Oh man. Amelia is Amelia's, uh, not as important as her sister. I don't know. Naga was in more of the stuff, I would say. Her, in, her dynamic with Lena is, like, one of the most famous things in old anime. Yeah. I guess you're right. It was a very different series, the Lena-Naga parts, because that was just pure comedy. That was pure comedy. Then when... I, I, would, I will say that, uh, that... That that's not. I don't like that as much as uh, her, with uh, actually having when it actually has a plot. Yeah, Slayers was at its best doing the dramatic story arcs, and for whatever reason, every season going to a lower stage of bad guy. That's great. That's another it's... weird part of Slayers because they beat Satan the first season, and then it's Satan's minion, and then the minion's minion, and that's just Satan... how the seasons go. I, I, I want to say that it was because, like, well, Satan can't really do much. He's been trapped there, whatever. And then his minions had more ambition. They had they had the freedom to move about. He's not also not literally called Satan, but that's the, basically the role of the character. It's basically, basically Satan. And, and besides, there, there are in-universe reasons as to why that is the case. Like, it was actually a sealed one-seventh of the full Satan power. The full Satan power. Yeah. <laughs> Satan power. You measure that as like horsepower, or is yeah. it like Dragon Ball Z power? How many Satans does it take to make this happen? I don't know. We'll have to ask the Black Mage. Vegeta, what does the Scouter say about his Satan level? It's over six six six. Swat six six six. <laughs> I'm just getting hit by everything, and then I fall off. Supernatural. Uh, Slayers is a 1980s, 90s anime. Yeah, it was great. I love, I love Slayers. I don't, I, I, I had just had a blast fucking watching that show. Mentioned uh, Quasar doing a similar thing. Uh, similar in that, yeah, they just, they send out all their best guys immediately, and they run out of guys to send, <laughs> yes. so they just send moves. I, it's great. So, so let's let's run down the the Quasar uh, 
list of the rogues gallery of the Seiko no Quasar. Um, they the start first, uh, with the big elemental alchemists, the scary ones. Like, uh, the, yeah. What was the first, the first lady? Was Silver? Uh, or something? Silver. In episode uh, one? Yeah, episode one was the woman who, uh. I think it was Silver. There was a, Mer yeah. there was a Mercury, the Oxygen Lord. Uh, the chlorine, Lord. the gas tank, gas chamber was his nickname. The gas chamber, yeah. Then, then you notice a sharp decline when it goes to the Helium Brothers. The Helium Brothers. <laughs> the three of them, the Helium, and they get. It was three get, identical looking dudes with just mook designs, like sunglasses. Did they all have like bald. silly voices? They were all bald. <laughs> the Helium Brothers, and then they get punked out easily, right? Yeah, the Helium Brothers are fucking nothing. <laughs> Yes, and then, and, then, and then they send out, after the Helium Brothers, they just send out regular, ordinary mercenaries. Who, I just think they as are Russian. Russian. Well, because they were going for the, like, a Fabergé egg was the plot. A, a Russian yeah. heirloom. Yes, they send out Russian So Russians. they just send out Russian mercenaries who, I believe, were involved in the, in the filming of a porno film. Wait, Balalaika's been... <laughs> That's how the that's how the episode started. Was like the the female characters got kidnapped or something. Oh yeah, they were threatening to like, hey, we'll shoot you naked. And then it turned it turned out it was just it was Russian mercenaries. I don't yes. know. It was a weird show. God, I, I, I gotta look. Yeah. Also, there's the, like the there's unexplored lore that doesn't get to we don't get to in the anime because it didn't get that far. Apparently, the main yeah. bad guy is. Say, is uh, Hitler reborn? <laughs> we found out the Quasar of Gold is apparently Adolf Hitler. That's... <laughs> There's no mention or inclination of this in the anime. Probably for the best. Oh, what? No, fighting Hitler reborn? <laughs> it's a bizarre, fascinating... Not, not. I wouldn't call it good in the same way Slayers is. Slayers has a lot of unique things right and subverts a lot of tropes. Seiko no Quasar is just fun, stupid schlock. It's just, it's the schlockiest stuff. It is, it, if you want to have, like, a good, if you don't want anything good, you just want to have a good time to watch Seiko no Quasar. It's, it is essentially what, I would say, it's like the anime equivalent of, like, some, some 80s uh, Italian exploitation film. It is interesting, That's, though. It's that you don't just watch it for, like, sex. If you can do that, you might as well watch a hentai. There's no, there's no hardcore sex in it. It's just, no, that's it's why just it's an edgy just... series. Yeah. It's just it, enough it's... to tease you. It was at the end of the version we got at the end of every episode. It was like the on the next stuff, but it was also just like voice voice lines from the actors. I don't remember that. Like ASMR. Yeah. Well, there was like, the there remember, was the spinoff series the that was fucking... all. Just Katya like doing dominatrix stuff to it the It wasn't all Katya, it was all the characters. It was the maid just like being I'm kidding, of course. It was it was fucking uh it was fucking ASMR stuff. I don't I don't remember in a bunch. Oh we don't she even was have talking to answer about every ninjas. time. She was talking about ninjas and shit. Feels like every Japanese series is either fighting God, Satan, or Hitler. No alternatives. I guess, yeah. There are three enemies of Japan. God, Satan, and Hitler. And I'm pretty sure one of them is dead. So what? what's Dragon Ball, then? I, I guess it's vague gods, not the god, necessarily. We got, we got God out of the way in Dragon Ball super early on. He's yeah, just a he's green an alien, man. And Satan... And Satan is also an ally. He went to heaven mm. and he, he turned into a not so bad dude. And uh, they did fight Hitler, though. They did. They did. They did. Hitler is king. Hair, blue eyes. I should recruit them. <laughs> they had. They, they had the. They, that was like a South Park level joke that that Dragon Ball pulled off. That was what something like you? Matt Stone and Trey Parker, if they were making a Dragon Ball line, they. they would that. In Fusion Reborn, a bunch of bad guys come back from hell, and one of them is not named explicitly, but is Adolf Hitler. He was credited as the, the, Fuhrer. the dictator. Oh, the dictator? Yeah, like the fucking Charlie Chaplin film. 
So we got plenty of hit points. I'm so glad we found that Sphinx fella. Yeah, it makes things easier. He got his answer correct after multiple attempts. Are we trying to be clever, smartass? Nope. I'm not that kind of... I'm not like my asshole relatives who live in... What was it? Sabasa? Yeah, Sabasa. Well, from Monster Girl Quest. Yeah. Was it Sabasa? What? Yes, it was Sabasa. Okay. Let me get this straight. You are not saying that you have agreed to the request to not... And I'm just like... I'm not gonna marry your daughter! You didn't answer my question. <laughs> I love that. That was that was like in retrospect. Now that I'm not dealing with it, that was a good callback to the fact that the dude was defended from sphinxes. Yeah. Just. Flick it. Don't. <laughs> Bop it. Crushing the doorknob with his bare hands. That there is a dude very similar to the King of Sabasa in Slayers, which is why we at first compared the king to him. Is uh, Philianel? I forgot how great Philianel yeah. was. Philianel, because he's awesome. a Hercule character. He's a, he's a goofball and a joke, but he's also really competent. And he's like one yes. of the strongest dudes in, in the in the series in terms of just physical physical attack. Yeah, what was it? He also claimed he was a pacifist. He's like, I have to break my pacifist vows. Uh, like, yes. Pacifist punch. He always goes on about being a pacifist, and so he names all his attacks like that. But there's a put. He just uses all these pro wrestling d moves and takes out a bunch of demons at one scene. I, for I forgot he was really competent as a fighter, unlike Hercule it's or the other similar joke characters. I love, I love like when a goofy character actually ends up being like, oh, he's actually pretty dangerous. It's like if uh, in Bleach, uh, what's his name? Don Canonji. Uh, Don Canonji. Actually, he was like holding Ichigo off. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Ruki is like, wow, this guy's spiritual pressure is actually pretty, pretty hardcore. What the, what the hell? Oh, I don't need it. I'm not going for that. Thank you. That would have been great. Is is like, wow, I didn't know humans had spiritual pressure like this. Like this. This guy's oh, gonna, gonna make gonna... a great soul reaper. <gasps> King, eight bit King Mario. Yeah. I want to go up there. I can't get up there. It's it's weird having camera controls in two D. It's like this is like some indie game level. It's significant though because the the. Like, movement is relative. Yeah, so it's good that the option is there. This looks... this looks challenging. A little bit. At least it's better jumping than actual Donkey Kong. Hello. Act actual Donkey Kong. Speaking of... Jump... Mario... that was the worst Mario was able to jump. Interesting nothing. music. You get nothing, you lose. Hello. I have to do a Bowser section? Alright. Bowser section. What if you could control Bowser twice? Then that then that makes this game twice as good. Oh hey! Is this literally going to be the end of the end of sequence again. Nah, that seems different. Damn it. Oh no, big hitbox. Hopefully the lava's not rising or anything. I can't see behind me. Fuck. Four hits left. Almost at the end.
Oh no! It's like... Ah! They got different paths, what? they're random! Is that it? Is that it for that section? Oh. oh, you're still at two hit points. Pray that there's another uh, armor nearby, or that it's almost over. Hello. Oh, this looks fun. Is there a death? It appears to just be birds. Thanks. Thanks. Are a super player. Thank you. You did it. I'm a fucking king now. Give me my crown. Give me my crown. We did it. We made it. Or oh. did you? Okay. It's fine. Climb a building. I can do that. Climb the... What if you were dumb people. enough to jump off here? Then you deserve it. You got to the, uh... The point in Slayers. I, I, I'm re-watching it. I got, I got last night where, uh... There's a giant floating island in the sky. Philanel decides he wants up there. So he runs at a piece of... A, a piece of earth looking like a quarter pipe and tries to jump it. Almost makes it! Imagine Hercule getting to... Like, getting to Corrin's tower by jumping. Oh, man. There is a... What are you... Oh, you're just exploring? Yeah. Oh, hello. Who's this? Out of the way, frog. I, I gotta hit Moon Princess. Space Princess. Uh, yeah, there's a, Ma Masako X did a thing, uh, titled, What If, uh, Hercule Trained Like Goku? I gotta listen to that, because that just sounds like, it's just Hercule, except he, except he's competent, and that have more longevity way. than Yamcha. Seen a lot of different kingdoms. I mean, sure, we got shot and stuff along the way. But think of all the hats! Got the hats. All the Every hats. Every game is better with hats. They were right. They discovered the formula. Sorry, Frog. Okay, okay Charlie Day. <laughs> That's a, that was a total Charlie Day line. <laughs> they discovered the formula. Look, it doesn't matter if we make a good game. We just got to get the assets on Unity. And everyone uses the same assets. We find an engine someone's already made. We put it out and we sell hats. That does sound like a, a always sunny episode. The gang make a the mobile game, makes... game. Yes, thank you, Mario. It's been an honor walking oh, this is a actually mile kind of... your head. This is actually kind of bittersweet. Did it? How long a stream was that? Hour forty-five. Well, That's under fine. Two hours. We'll do a little Did it? Around. See, see, see our, see our new kingdom. We are finally kings of the world. We are, we King are moon. kings. Oh man, Usagi goes back to the moon to reclaim her ancestral homeland. Invisibility hat. And she finds some weird magic rabbit there. She finds the X knots. She finds King Mario. It's just what the hell? Woohoo! You're... Uh? What? Where are those footsteps coming from? So by by uh, by completing the trial, he has unlocked the power of invisibility. She can she she sees the dead people. Pauline she is the only one with the gift. That's how you know that, that she's Mario's true love.
You know, I just realized something. New Donk City's presence kind of ruins the uh, the headcanon I have of Mario and Luigi and Peach, for that matter, just being the last uh, humans in the in their kingdom. Because oh hey, there's there are these fucks this entire time. Yep. Well, there was there was everyone in Mario's in, in Mario's time machine. You remember, all of American history is canon to the Mario universe. Mario. Now, Mario Does that mean that Mushroomy the... Kingdom is like the immediate aftermath of the war that created the Mushroom Kingdom? The war. That's when the spores like, were scattered. It's like the Great Pokemon War. War. We don't talk about it. The Great Mushroom War. That's that's right. Pokemon did have like some kind of war. Multiple. Well, there was the and there was the Lieutenant Surge War we know about, and there was one that's relevant to the plot of X and Y that was like a thousand years ago. A thousand years ago from. Oh, the war, the war of uh, oh, the Crusades, something or other. The Crusades, the Pokemon Crusades. Now Mario can go into the female locker room. That's right. He's up. He's got the best Devil Fruit power. Oh, Sanji's gonna be coming for us. I like how Sanji was like, "Oh, you motherfucker!" I was holding out hope, but you know, I just realized something. I Sanji could have just killed him. And just and just get with, with well, holding an apple, and then he would have gained the devil fruit power. Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. I thought it like it generated a new devil fruit on whatever tree they came from or something. Uh, okay. Like the devil fruit re-entered the cycle, but I, I, I don't know that, for sure. We haven't gotten that I far. I thought in that one if piece. the devil fruit was was like if the devil fruit owner was killed, it just, the, the spirit of the devil fruit just hopped onto the nearest, like, piece of fruit that I, was nearby. I don't know, uh, Blackbeard did something involving getting other fruit. We'll, we'll have to study our One Piece lore. So, uh, fuck being king, I am now Shogun. <laughs> you are whatever you want to be. You are owner, you are ruler of the moon, Mario. Things are gonna <laughs> change around here. Well, I mean, his... I guess Galaxy was a religious experience to him. And he, he, that's how he was able to get the, uh... Captain Toad on the dark side. Darth Toad. Dark side Toad. You will surrender to the dark side! Get off of my moon, Toad! So there's still more to do. From my perspective, the princess is evil! Uh, you're, you're not so wrong about that. So much art and rabbits. Oh, that's right. So, I had to do... There, the, These art hints are scattered around all the other levels. Oh, yeah? There's one for each of them. And once you look at one, you can find out where that is on the other levels. Oh. Like, it, it, it's like annoying. a scavenger hunt clue. And there's like 14 of them here on the dark side. So you unlock extra, extra paintings. A couple final moons. I don't know uh, what the total number in the game is. It's probably like 900. Hey, you know what? The moon's core seems seems pretty hospitable. We just gotta deal That's with lava. You guys all right on lava? You need any more lava? You know, this this just the, the fact that there's grass growing here that explains why the moon's got an oxygen supply. It's all coming from within. Oh, that's what I gotta do. What are you? I am... Uh... Well... I could not get the fruit in time. And you do need to get the fruit, because getting all of those is another moon. Oh, no. It's just challenge after challenge. It's just extra, a couple extra last things to do in the dark side this of the is, moon. This is, this is Mario uh, making sure that his, his kingdom's power moons are gotten. So yeah. that he can reward them. He only needed, like, uh, you get the final area that we just did after 500 moons. So he was just hoarding all the moons in the world after that point. He's been a greedy ass king with his yeah, 850 power moon. moons. The power stars exist for for Peach's kingdom and the and the mushroom kingdom in the in that world. Now he, but he's on the fucking moon now. He needs the power moons. But he They're took his all property. The, Jack, by, he took by, all the power stars as well. 
Well, he always starts the game with none. Like, no matter where he is, so... You got them. Oh, I don't need to... They carry over. That's nice. That's real nice. That makes this way easier. Oh, there's two moons worth of fruits here. Yoshi on the sinking island. Come on. You know, the way Yoshi's uh, tongue is acting in this game, you could totally just have it work the same way in Galaxy 2. Yeah. Well, Super Galaxy 2 Nintendo. was the main thing that... There were a lot of 2D sections with Yoshi. You remember you had to touch the blue things to pull to them? Yeah. I'm sure they could figure something out. It'd just be effort, you know? You don't want to put effort into a port. Effort. That would be that. effort. Just wish I... I just wish that they that they would take an, an, a page from Deadpool and they'd look at something and they go, Maximum effort. Fucking Nintendo, man. King, I like, I, I just, I like the, uh, the concept of, are you missing some? I guess. Should probably, oh, I guess it's over. I missed two of them somewhere. Or you, unless you didn't, that can also be another possibility. No, they're not gonna, there they are. They're not gonna put extra fruits just for no reason. I love the, I, I just love the concept of like, I don't know why, just fucking Mario takes, just, it's like, oh, you don't want to marry me? Fuck you, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna go to the moon now. What a departure this, what this game was for Peach. What? What a departure this game was for Peach, just being extra adversarial to Mario, I guess? Yeah. And then... Now he just rules a kingdom of rabbits. I, I would love for this to be a thing, and we do get Romance of the Three Kingdoms with Mario, Peach, and Bowser. If only. If only. Oh, and King Wario. Wario's got a castle. You know what? That's that's why I'm saying that. Is that uh, the the second game in the in the in the uh, Mario Land series, the one where Mario had a castle and Wario stole it? Yeah. Yeah, Wario it, it canonically takes castle. place after this game. Is Mario Land 2? Yeah, yeah, that that was a far off sequel. This it's like the... the Legend of Zelda. The timeline is all over the place, but you can piece it together. Yeah, this this takes place uh, before Mario Land 2 actually took place on the moon. There was a space level in Mario Land 2 too. Yeah, and I think there was one in one as well. Or maybe I keep he thinking I have my hat, and I don't. Mario uses the power moons to terraform the moon. Yeah. That's why he needs them all. More realistically, I could conceivably see a romance thing between, like, Mario takes control of the royal forces alongside Peach, and it's the Mushroom Kingdom, Wario, and Bowser are the three Mar factions. Mario Warriors. <laughs> Mario Warriors. Yeah. It'd be, what it'd would be Wario's play? forces be? Just ever, the potpourri? Because he just hired people. Yeah, it'd be it'd be the fucking it'd be the shy guys and shit. Does anyone who doesn't dude. fall into the Mushroom Kingdom or Bowser factions Wario gets? Dude, you not you could do that. You'd just be side scrolling uh, Super Mario. Uh, it'd be side scrolling uh, Dynasty Warriors. I'm a looking for the soldiers without borders. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, oh, do I have to do a bunch of long jumps in a row, maybe? Seems like it. 
I think you gotta get the key again now. Yeah, so there's two moons here. There's one for taking the top route and one for taking the more difficult bottom route. Alright, well, good luck. I'm gonna lose a lot of coins doing this. It's fine, you have plenty. By the way, I just realized the only uh, the only time Sailor Moon like uh, actively fights is when she does that kick a couple of times, and that's about it. Once or twice, she does an actual like flying kick at bad guys. Yeah, and that was cool, but that was the only time that uh, that she ever really did that. And it'd be yeah. she does more fighting in the fucking RPG game. Oh, did I mention? Yeah. There's a fucking uh, Sailor Moon RPG. Yeah. And also a Sailor Moon beat em up. There are a few Slayers RPGs, which I think I tried one of them, and I want to like them. There is not very interesting games. There's JRPGs. They do. It is neat that uh, you have Naga as well as the anime party members, though. Maybe not all. Yeah. I don't know which ones are all involved. Oh, do, uh, do Naga and, uh... Amelia? Yeah, do they have an interaction? They're like, hey, sister, yeah. sister! I wish. I don't know. I don't know, though. There was that scene that I didn't catch the first time I watched Slayers, because I hadn't seen the Naga parts, where, uh, someone walks by in the foreground wearing, uh, Naga's outfit, and L Amelia does a double take. Huh? And there's no mention of it. It's not plot relevant. It just happens. Yeah, because uh, you know. Close close eyed viewers to catch. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I'm really sorry to do this, but my stomach is starting to turn. I gotta use the restroom I'll be right back. Okay. My stomach's just really turning. I'll be back and nothing will have changed. <laughs> stubbornly taking this more difficult route because I don't know, I, I want to save the easier one for when I'm coming back. I don't know how destroyed it gets. Then again, I guess what I'm doing now is not really working, so... And this is the easier one. I mean, arguably. I guess it's relative. This is gonna be the one. This is the time. There we go. Easiest pie. Hooray. Alright, let's try hard mode. Maybe. Maybe this won't be easier, because this is just a sequence of the same jumps over and over again. I remember this place. I don't need that. Thank you, though. I mean, I guess it'll be good to have the, uh... Oh, I, and I need it following me, too, because it's got to break the thing at the end. Fuck. I, I can't just, uh, I can't just go without it. So I'm not, I'm not going to 100% this game on stream. I'm definitely not going to do all the artwork. I'm just doing a little ex exploration to finish the night off. Oh, hello. I, I couldn't see the bullet was in front of my camera. Anyway. The main appeal of the Mario 3D All-Stars thing is the idea that there might be galaxy with no motion controls. That I'd be happy about. 
not $60 happy. I don't really plan on getting it, but it'd be cool. I'd like that. I want ports of games with less motion controls. I can't see. I can't fucking see where I'm jumping. Camera. Uh, are you following me, Mr. Bullet? You are. That wasn't so bad. Easy for a Shogun. What else is there to do? Breakdown road. 24. So how many of those are gonna be the art? I like the 13 through 24 are all art moons. But one, two, three, four, five, six. That are not art moons that I could do. Fuck it. Who's got time to ride the thing? Nobody. I, I should have rode the thing. Drat. You know, I really thought I could make it. I've gotten used to the diving in this game. I still... I still like Hat in Time better. Which, again, we are planning to start that at some point after this. Tony Hawk will be the next thing we start. And then... Hat in Time and Sonic 06 coming at some point after that. Coming soonish. Helipad. I know where that is. I'm not going to go there now, but I know where it is. I used uh, Uncle Amiibo abundantly in collecting all the moons. Very helpful knowing where the missing ones are. Oh, you made it! I did it! First try! Easy peasy! Ooh, scooter. I think. Sorry, I missed it. What'd you say? I did it! First try! Basically, almost. Okay, I took a couple tries. After I left? Uh, for the bottom route, I did pretty easily compared to the top route. Uh, okay, because it, it seems pretty simpler. The top route actually seemed like it was stronger. So this one seems new. Yeah. Uh, I think... This looks like I should have a scooter, but uh, I don't. Man, fuck. Did I miss I, the scooter? I saw, man, fuck this one. I guess there's just not one. Oh, okay. No scooter. So you just you just run. Just go for it. Just go for it. Maybe the scooter failed to spawn. So, gotta dodge that. Very important. You can roll. Sorry, I, I forgot. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Okay. What do you think this is? Sonic the goddamn hedgehog? Is rolling that much faster, though? Got it. Alarm. Well, that's gonna be tricky. So this is a super speed run. Is what this challenge do it, is. Do it fast. No, and I say fast, I mean faster. Faster. Let the fl let the frames flow through you. You can do the spin Palpatine. dash, you just kind of has to do a little kick. Em I'm just picturing fucking Emperor Palpatine just just training training fucking Darth Vader to be a speedrunner. Good. Very good. Now perform the trick. Now just try faster. I can't. Do it.
This is why I like streaming, because we just come up with some of the most absurd ideas, like fucking Palpatine and Darth Vader just at a Games Done Quick event. Alright, next we are seeing a uh, Pikmin 3 speedrun by, uh, by Emperor Palpatine and his trusted servant, uh, Darth Vader. Like, clapping, it's just them just sitting down on the fucking couch. Oh, uh, did you get hurt? Oh. Are you retreating? Almost jumped off. <laughs> uh, sir, we seem to be getting some heavy breathing on Mike. Is there anything you can do about that? No. That's fine. <laughs> Emperor, you got a, you got time for a couple donations? Yes, do it. If if you donate enough, he has a threshold where he'll do the the just dance dance. What was it that we found footage of like a dancing Palpatine? Yes. I don't remember the context of that. Yeah, that was it. That if you meet my donation incentive, I will do my dance. Do it. And it's just a bunch of donations just referencing Palpatine just going, do it. Just everyone's memeing those Palpatine yeah. memes, and he's loving it because it's all about yeah. him. Meanwhile, Darth Vader's just... Darth, Darth Vader fucks up a trick. He's like, no! I am the stream! <laughs> Fuck. Nope, going back. Back it off. Abort. Abort. <laughs> How the fuck did we get on Darth Vader and Palpatine? I don't... I don't know. I... There was some connecting tissue. Ah! Man! You can still do it, just jump off the tank. You think so? Yeah, bounce off a tank. Just get him over here, and then and then jump. Up. Okay, you can die too. That's fine. It's not that bad if you know the movement techniques. It's still it's still tricky. Obligatory Sonic music. Okay, seriously, what would Darth Vader and Palpatine speed run? Uh Episode 1 Racer? <laughs> Darth Vader. I remember when I was an actual when I was a pod racer on ta on Tatooine. Of course this game is more easily broken than those records. Now this is pod racing. It's just, it'd be great, the dynamic between them, it'd just be Darth Vader is just like the, like, the spoil sport and Palpatine is just like the person who, like, likes to meme. It'd be like fucking Tom Kenny and, and it'd be Tom Kenny and Squidward just at the fucking panel. Like, a, like an embarrassing grandpa Palpatine. <laughs> Apparently Palpatine had like decadent like fucking empire parties. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like he was the fucking Caligula of Star Wars. No, I'm I'm not I'm not taking that risk. He's By the way, I was wrong about Dirty Pair. Only the movies are dubbed. The series isn't. Oh, okay. So, Ura say it's Ura. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Ah! Oh! Next time. Now jump on the t okay. I don't think I can gain height, I'll try. No. 
Also, they kill each other. That is a, that is a fucking annoying uh, moon. I right, would we'll give it another shot. I'm gonna get that damn moon. I wanna get the non art moon, because there's only like four more, maybe, if that. Hattie can, uh, cat, sorry, Cappy. Can, uh, psychically detect if there are moons or coins left in a bonus area. Which is very helpful. Hmm. Sounds it. So uh oh, doing... that's death. <laughs> you were doing so well. That's right, we left Cappy outside. How is he talking to us? By the way, uh. You, you ever heard of the anime You're Under Arrest? I have. I've seen certain pictures of this anime as well. I've... It's... God damn, why is... I don't rem... I, the time limit on these... On, on this one is, like, really strict. Isn't it just like it. a... Isn't it just like another wacky comedy series about sexy cops? Two cops who happen to uh, female cops, I think, is. Uh, there were a lot of uh, anime in the '80s about uh, wacky comedy duos of two girls. Finally, you made it. Am I gonna fall now? Now you fall. It doesn't keep your momentum. It just fucking drops you. Thanks, game. <laughs> well, you got it. it. Doesn't matter. I guess this is just where all the rabbits live, and those other guys were assholes. Is why they were they were not yeah, well we liked here. Yeah, we deposed them. We rule the moon now. They were they were uh, they were a deadly decadent court, and we killed them all to to rule the moon. You think we're gonna get a stand named Moonwalker? Oh man, but that's a video game. There was also a song. No, it was or, well, a there movie. was the moonwalk. It, it, it was it, a movie and a game, and it wasn't a song. Where did the? Okay, so whatever the dance came from. I it guess we got a thriller dance. stand already, didn't we? Yeah. We still have smooth criminal. Nobody's used that yet. Yeah. I don't want to fight the robot again. You're fighting the robot again. Ah, oh, fuck that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly away. You can't. I'm sorry. Come on. Okay, good. It doesn't trap us in the fight. That'd be stupid. We're back for our revenge. No, I beat you up. Go away. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know where the last four are, so that just might be the end of it. Oh, here's a new pipe. We haven't been in this one. More, more Yoshi fe feeding. Do it. Feed Yosh. It's so close. Come on. You're so close, but it's not going to work. You got so far, 
and tried so hard, but in the end. All I got was this lousy t-shirt. I'll just feed your Yoshi. Even if you don't get power moons from it. Oh, no. Wait, I'm not done with you. You, you, you Are you sure you're not missing some fruit? I am. Yeah, there's one up there. There's some more over there. There sure are. Is there one on top of that I gotta get to somehow? Fuck. Well. It's a good thing they carry over. I guess they have to, because otherwise you can get the same amount of fruit just twice over. Yeah. I can't climb with Yosh. You can climb the side of the building, though. The other... Oh, no! Why did you do that? Because I was gonna... I was gonna jump over to the island, but he can't, uh, He can't do the flutter jump after jumping off a wall. Oh, darn. Alright, this time for sure... No jury in the world will, would convict him. What? Who, uh, Nothing. Shogun Mario? Yeah. They fear me too much. I'll have you know I'm friends with every human on the planet. What did you just say? Mario just reciting the fucking, uh... I can't get- how the fuck do I get up there? That's a good question. Uh... Hmm... Might be stumped on this one, boys. I can't even jump off of Yoshi, because Yoshi needs to get up there. Hmm. Can you do a can you do a, a high jump as uh, Yoshi? Like the well, I can't press the the ground stomp button because that's the get out of body button. Oh, so you can't you can't do the okay. Wait. Okay, no. Oh well. I guess. There's a way to get up there, though. I can't think of what it could be. Oh. There's our last door. And there's a pipe down here? Oh, there's more than I thought there was. Oh. Into darkness. I guess there's like a little challenge area based off of every uh, every kingdom. Seems like it. Oh wait, I know what I gotta do. Yeah, I gotta I gotta use the rocks. So this is the same room that I've done before, but now I'm doing I have to do it without Cappy. Yeah. Bet I hope you memorized it all. Fairly obvious what's where. Is that back there still a star? Because in the other version of the room it was. In fact, there was an invisible path going this way. Wait, oh no! 
I can't open it because I don't got Cappy. Okay, that'll do it. You thought, and you thought you were fucked. <laughs> that'd, that'd, be, that'd be a troll. If they just put the same chest there, but you couldn't open it because you... This is kind of apropos of nothing, but do you remember when when the South Park was referencing that what should I do thing and you were like, man, what happened with uh I think it was Co was it Kobe Bryant? No, it wasn't Kobe Bryant. Cuz Kobe Bryant actually did something wrong. It turns out the guy they were referencing the his only thing he the only thing he did wrong was that he was changing teams. Yeah. And you were surprised. You're like, "Wait, that's it." The way people were reacting to it, I thought it was something way worse than yeah. he must have done. Which... This is fine. Yeah, LeBron James. There's no hearts here. Alright. Well, that didn't work. Man, all the comments, the YouTube comments are useless. They're all they're saying is, who else has came here from South Park? Yeah. It must be a weird. Yeah. It must be a weird feeling when the South the Park parody of something becomes more famous than the thing they were parodying. <laughs> At the point you're just straight up stealing it. Oh, so the oh man, that's interesting. And that the visible parts are are the ones you have to avoid, but you don't know where the invisible parts end. All right, come on, do oh, I guess that's it. Oh wait, what? I have to, I have to kill them to get the Star of the Moon. Oh, no. Yeah, it was just because uh, LeBron James left Cleveland to join Miami. That's it. That's why he was, but that's why that video was there. I feel so betrayed. I never thought Mewtwo King would play Bowser. I, as a Mewtwo, am crushed for life. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what Life's a too fucking, fucking short. <laughs> what should I? <laughs> you should fuck off. Is what you should do. When fucking Ichiro left to join the the Yankees. I didn't take it personally. I was disappointed, but I'm not. I wasn't out for blood. I didn't expect him to make a commercial where he's like, "What should I do?" Ichiro June joined the New York Yankees, or something. He left. He left uh, the Mariners. I, I think not to retire, but to but to uh, join a winning team. And I'm like, okay, fair enough, Ichiro. I thought he was on an actually Japanese baseball team. No, he was on the Mariners for quite some time. Was he on a Japanese team before that? I think so. Then he joined. Then he joined American team. The, the the legendary Mariners. Legendary All those because... times you said Ichiban, did it mean nothing? You know you know what's funny about the Mariners is that is that they've never won a pennant. They've never won a World Series ever. Yeah. They've always found ways to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory to the point where other sports writers are taking notice and going, what the fuck is up with the, with the Mariners? So you uh, pulled the Mariners, did you? Even the fucking Seahawks did better. It must be a sad job being the commentator for the, the Mariners. I think, I think it, it well, with the Mariners. I guess, I guess it varies by the arena, not the team. Yeah, the thing with the, with the Mariners, I, I feel, is that everybody who's there 
is in, is in it for the love of the sport, not for winning. Yeah. Which means they have stuff where they have like a 100 and and some odd over 110 winning streak, and then they they lose the playoffs. It's like it's like imagine if you were a really bad esports team. Actually, that's the thing. I think that's the difference between like esports and like modern sports sports is that they're not based in any city. Yeah. You have like multiple like sports fran like esports yeah. franchises for a city. Does that make esports more more uh, socialist than fucking? No, it just means that the capitalism hasn't caught up yet. We're gonna have official national esports teams. Yes. Colleges are doing it. Colleges have esports teams now. Oh, you can get yeah. scholarships for esports. I'm really struggling with this one in this one specifically. Do a backflip. Wait, what the fuck? Michael Jordan had a commercial too. Apologizing? Maybe it's my fault. <laughs> what? Hold on, I'm looking this up. I'm not saying it's my fault, but if it was, here's how. No, it's. It, let me tell you what the first words of the commercial are. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy. But let me tell you, ballin' ain't easy. Let me tell you, I'm Michael fucking Jordan, and I'm once a. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a... I will attempt to get close enough to successfully backflip. I need to dodge his spit before I do it. Is the main problem. It's an advertisement for Air Jordans. It's like that. That's what. The, okay, I get it now. LeBron, LeBron James was because the LeBron James commercial was a fucking Nike commercial. Yeah. It wasn't just like him just going on TV going, "I'm sorry for leaving the Cleveland Browns. What should I do?" Not the Cleveland Browns. That's another bad sports team. I've been watching too much sports shit lately. Uh, that's a Family Guy character. You know, okay, let me tell you something about the Cleveland Browns. There was a video by John Boyce titled, The Cleveland Browns Live in Hell. Yeah. It was about how the Cleveland Browns are like the worst fucking team in football ever. Nobody is worse than the Cleveland Browns. But at least they're not Detroit. No, they're not Detroit because Detroit wins. The Lions actually win sometimes. Wasn't that the wasn't wasn't Cleveland the the parody, like come to our city video? Yeah, our water's so polluted, most of our fish have AIDS. Yeah, that one. Oh, hey, it's the New Donk Cityscape. It's just all Yoshi's. These Yoshi's need fed. All the Yoshi's all the time. That's how you get the Yoshi's loyalty is you feed them and then they'll support you for your bid as uh, King of the Moon. I'm gonna have to like swap between Yoshi and Tank. Maybe. That wasn't a Nike commercial, it was literally just uh, LeBron James saying, What should I do, motherfuckers? Well, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, it wasn't a Nike commercial. This one's a Nike commercial. It's him saying, I'm sorry for making. Yeah, it's just Michael Jordan selling Air Jordans. Okay, so maybe I think Yoshi's one moon and the tanks must be another one. Yoshi Under Siege. That's a, oh, I, I want to see that movie. Yoshi Under Siege. The uh, Yoshi series takes a dark turn. People are complaining about all the crafts and shit. Yoshi Under Siege is a bunch of Yoshis just wearing fucking... Fucking like army helmets and shit. It's like that, uh, you know, that penguin anime movie. It's just that, but Yoshi's. <laughs> You've seen that, right? The I've 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 seen I I yeah I know of, the, of what you're talking about. The fucking penguin, penguin war Vietnam. Movie. Can he find penguin. love through PTSD? Penguin PTSD. It's a real thing. Oh, there's more Yoshi. So what's this? Just coins? 
just, hey, the tanks are fucking annoying. How about you take them out so that the Yoshi will be easier? I hope there's not fruit, like, inside the stone. Alright, where'd you go, Yoshi? Oh, this is, this is, I found the entire, uh, the entirety of that, of that Michael Jordan commercial. Here, here's what it is. I'll read it out loud. Are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I made you think my highlights started at the free throw line and not in the gym. Maybe I made you think that every shot I took was a game winner and that my game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it's my fault you didn't see the failure. That failure gave me strength. That my pain was motivation. Maybe I led you to believe that basketball was God's given gift. Not something I work for every single day of my life. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you're just making excuses. Powerful stuff, Michael Jordan. So who do you think wrote that? Um, some ad exec? Obviously. That sounds like some ad exec shit. Maybe he wrote it himself. Yeah. I'd say it's probably an ad exec, though. Oh, they came back. It's great because because this one is obviously selling something. He's trying to be all motivational, and the LeBron James one is just LeBron James going, "What the fuck do you want me to do?" I joined a different sports team. Chill out. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't, I didn't fucking assault anybody or something that you know of. <laughs> Man, I say that, but. Uh, but imagine, I, I guess it would be different if he, like, joined a team that was shitty. He joined the Heat. I miss. But, like, it's it's not like it's not like he, he's, like, leaving AEW to go to WWE or something. Yeah. That would be Shots a trail. Fired. Oh, did you know what WWE did recently? What, what stupid thing did WWE do now? Okay, so you know how uh, WWE people are technically independent contractors. Oh, they're doing that. Yeah, they're they're always they've always been independent contractors, mm. um, theoretically. But then they're they're doing stuff that's like labeling them as employees. Yeah. But uh, recently they said, hey, you know what you can't do anymore? You can't do cameo. Oh. You know what else you can't do anymore? You can't go on Twitch. Even though you're independent contractors, we're, we're yeah. gonna. Dude, we're not going to disbar this. Because it benefits and, us to do that. And uh, naturally, the, the, the wrestlers there are fucking furious. Yeah. Because that's, that's side hustle. And also, they can't make their own t-shirts anymore. Yeah. They can't use pro wrestling tees. They're basically... It's, it's just like some, some of the pettiest fucking bullshit. Just incredibly scummy business practices. Yeah. WWE are the EA of pro wrestling. So aside from the aside from the art stuff, the only thing that we could have left to do is that stupid Yoshi fruit on the roof that we couldn't figure out. Let's figure it out. That'll be a great stream ender. Go look it up. Where was the door even? You know what? I have a handy dandy. Go to the go to the thing. Down there. Hey, Cappy, do you have any ideas? Any useful ideas? There's nothing we can use to get higher unless there's some, like, fancy parkour I'm aware of. He doesn't see- he's not able to go higher than the initial, initial tongue grab is the thing. That's so weird. So they specifically designed it so that you could not climb up in that manner. Hmm. Maybe if you- hold on, go to the platform on the other side. Yeah, go go around and get hit the platform. 
go to the platform. I have an idea. I guess there'll be enough height difference. What if? What if you were able to like, uh, to like go off the wall from the from the far side and flutter jump over to the other side? You can't flutter jump after grabbing a wall. Oh, you can only. Okay, never mind then. Shit. That's like slightly higher, so I'd imagine. Ah! You're so close. Yes, <laughs> barely. Somehow that worked. I knew. I, I knew it would. Well, there you go. We did it. We did we it. Got Mario's now king of the moon. Basically, all all of the all of the the moons in the game. Because fuck art. No one no one appreciates art. Who cares? <laughs> art. That's that's just. That's just porn without the interesting stuff on it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So 870 is like the upper limit, or is it 900? Uh, there's one more in the Mushroom Kingdom for 870, and there's 10 here, so 880. Looks like it's 880 is the grand total in the game. So we almost did it. We we got we got close enough. As much as I'm willing to do on stream, because the art is just going to be tedious and annoying, so we don't need to see that. Yes. On so yeah, we are king of the moon. We've got uh, all the power moons, and now and now Mario's gonna is gonna see like fuck you. I've got my own kingdom. And fuck uh, you, Peach. Now Warrior's about to steal his castle, and we'll get Mario Land too. Yes, yeah, I will play Mario Land 2 next. That'll be the sequel. Though. Tune in next time for the official Mario timeline continuation. Uh, no, next stream. I don't, if we can, it's not going to be tomorrow because you got plans tomorrow. That's right. I do have plans tomorrow. I have Monday Probably off. Monday. Maybe we'll be able to Probably do something Monday. then. Planning to start Tony Hawk soon. Almost done with Metopia. We're in the middle of Pokemon and what else? Kingdom there was one Hearts. other game. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts was one. There was something else we were playing. Uh, I'm sure there was. Oh, well. We'll probably do something on Monday, so hopefully you expect us then. Thanks yep. for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.